I am Anil Kumar sharing with you questions from previous test paper. Here I have taken up question from International Cambridge Examination, Level 3, Advanced Mathematics. Question number 9. Given that theta is measured in radians, prove from first principle that d d theta of cos theta is minus sine theta. You may assume the formula for cos a plus minus b and that as h approaches 0, sin h over h approaches 1, and cos h minus 1 over h approaches 0. Now, when we say use first principle, the very basic definition, uh, let's say that we are given the function, which is function of theta as cos theta, correct? We want d, d theta of the function f of theta and that is using the principles of limit h approaches 0 for f of theta plus h minus f of theta divided by theta plus h minus theta right so that is the very basic definition so uh, we could write this as limit h approaches 0 now when I say f theta plus h function is cos theta so it becomes cos of theta plus h minus f of theta is cos theta over theta plus h minus theta is h, correct? Now we could write this as limit h approaches 0. Cos a plus b formula we can use here, which is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b, right? So we'll write this, which is cos theta cos h minus sine theta sine h correct we already have cos theta here everything divided by h now we'll use the properties of limit here you will notice that h is approaching to zero right so cos theta uh, is basically independent of h right so what we will do here is that we can actually uh, we can combine these terms, correct? Okay? We'll use this identity here. So we'll consider these two terms. We'll take cos theta as common factor. So we get limit h approaches zero. So using first and the third term, we get cos theta. So we have here cos of h minus one, and here we get minus sine theta sine of h. And that means we could write like this also, correct? Where limit is on both. Is that clear to you? Using the properties of limit, we can rearrange this and write this as cos theta, which is independent of h. We can write this as limit h approaches zero for cos of h minus one over h, right? Minus, here we can write this as limit h approaches zero of uh, sine of h over h times sine theta. Clear? Now this limit, cos of h minus 1, as h approaches 0, is basically 0, right? So this part is 0, so we get 0 here, minus. Now this limit is 1, so we get sine theta. So that shows that the derivative of cos theta is minus sine theta. Is that clear to you, right? So that is how, using first principle, we can derive this expression. So I hope the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views, and if you like and subscribe to my videos, it'd be great. Thanks for watching, and in case you have any doubts, you can always email me on the address given here. All the best.